Should we be really encouraging an anonymous free for all in the online world when we expect completely different standards in the real world, particularly when it comes to those who commit crimes or abuses, abuse their privileges, and especially against our children? Do we really want the free circulation of horrific images on social networks, openly visible to children when we would never allow the same images to be broadcast on day daytime television? And how do we manage the enormous and growing power of individual companies that now have greater control than many nation states over our private data, over what we are exposed to, and over what we are sold? Let me announce you today. It is my pleasure to announce today that we are not taking over the internet. The UN peacekeepers and their blue helmets are not coming to take over the world IXPs. The UN peacekeepers are not coming to take over the internet critical resources, including the root servers and the DNS. And my good friend, Fadi Shehadi, can continue to do the good job he's doing at ICANN. <laughs> and it's now only a few months beyond the uh, wicked meeting in Dubai. Um, so I think this is a particularly good time to take stock of what's happened, where we are at this point in time, what the challenges and opportunities are for the future, and to figure out what is our strategy for dealing with that future at this point in time. Things are not the same as they were even 10 years ago, and I think we have opportunities to really pick a good path for the future. Les questions liées à l'Internet touchent profondément notre société au quotidien. Les citoyens, les entreprises, le commerce intérieur et extérieur, les administrations, les écoles, les universités, l'éducation, la police, les autorités, pour ne citer que quelques exemples. La situation est variée de pays à pays. Alors il faut écouter les besoins et la situation que nous avons au niveau politique à résoudre. Aborder les questions liées à l'Internet, c'est donc impliquer toutes les composantes de la société. I will tell you that if we continue to be perceived as a fortress in the US, we all lose. We must be an oasis to the world. And we must have activities that start at the edges of the planet and come back to the heart of the community.
work very closely. And they're equally the next force, or the IETF, the World Wide Web Consortium, W3C. The, something that changes significantly in the future is commercial technology. <laughs>